Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to the real world. <laughs> this is coming to you live from the Far Lands or Bus Studios here to show you guys some of the Shapeways.com 3D printed figures I got. This one in your face is the Kurt J. Mac. Kurt J. Mac Minecraft figure skin that I got through their their Mine Toys store where you can get your 3D custom printed, 3D printed, as you will, uh, Minecraft skin. And I got that from Shapeways.com as well as these three Kerbonauts you see here. Very cool things. And as you remember, Shapeways were the, the folks who kindly sponsored the grand prize for the Guess Kurtz F3 Distance Contest at the end of the last Flavathon. So I wanted to show you guys my tiny little collection of Shapeways figures and there are links in the video description to all of these, uh, as well as the, the Kerbal Space Program store and the Mind Toys store. Very cool things. Uh, as you can see, I have, let me just go down the line and, and tell you which are which. This one right here, this little guy is the Kerbal on EVA. He's very cool. He's obviously on EVA. He's got the EVA pack out. He's ready to, to start bouncing along the surface of a moon in ragdoll mode, <laughs> as it were. It's giant, giant head. It's very awesome. He's very happy to be out on EVA. Very detailed, even with the... Focus, focus. Even with the, uh, the little buttons and little things you can remember from the in-game uh, figures. And actually, these... These Kerbal Space Program figures are actually modeled using the in-game 3D models, so they are incredibly accurate. And then we also have right here, this is, in, in worrying fashion, Bob Kerman on EVA. They actually have all the, the main three Kerbonauts on IVA. Did I say EVA? I meant IVA, like in, in the capsule view. There's Bob, there's Bill, both worried, and then of course there's Jebediah, who's, who's happy as can be. Uh, so that would be really cool. I only have this one, but you can buy a set of three, and that would be cool to kind of have right by my desk to to watch over my ill ill advised decisions in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this guy on the left is a whoop. He's he's floating away from the screen. He is a Kerbo. Uh, what do they call this one? Small car scar the star gazing Kerbal. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way. You're you're stealing the focus. The small, focus, 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 stargazing, focus, focus, mm, mm. <laughs> stargazing Kerbal is, he's got his helmet off, he's uh, stargazing up and away. There is a larger one, this is the smallest, uh, there is a larger one that I believe is on the scale of these guys, uh, but this is a little tiny guy, very cool, kind of appropriate, my interest in astronomy and whatnot. And then obviously, as you saw, the, the Kerche Mac, this is the six inch Mind Toys uh, figure. They're also available. Focus, focus, focus. I said focus! A pity to fool who doesn't focus his webcam. Uh, <laughs> they're also available as a 12 inch. Uh, and as you can see, these are all 3D printed using the same technique. They call it full color sandstone. Uh, and it does have this very interesting gritty sandstone texture. It's apparently... You can kind of see uh, if I can focus on my head. Yellow, yellow, focus. Focus. All right, focus isn't working, but uh, you can see the little lines. You can kind of see a little bit better in the the Kerbo knots and whatnot. The, the little lines where they're printed. So I can assume you can see horizontal lines. I can assume they're printed sideways, much like your your standard printer works, just printing back and forth. Only this in in three Ds. So. 3Ds, three dimensions. <laughs> 3Ds are what the young kids are calling them now. Um, but it, it's very cool because it's it's the only 3D printing technique, apparently, that can be printed in full color. Uh, the other types, which are plastic, ceramics, metals, and whatnot, uh, are all printed, or the mold is printed, and then uh, on top of that there would need to be some sort of paint or coat to, to give the color. So the this color sandstone is kind of a cool uh, cool thing. And and the, the Kerbo, like I said, the Kerbo knots are very detailed. Even, uh, you know, the, the color is, isn't is quite, there is a limit, I suppose. There There is a little bit of bleed, I suppose. Not, it's not like a high resolution 
Uh, each individual grain of sand can't be a different color, but it, it's very cool, uh, at least on, on the Kerbo Knots. I do notice in the the small mine toys guy that some of the detail is a little bit lost, definitely on the sleeves. Uh, my marvelous head of hair uh, is kind of lost, and obviously you can't have the, the secondary hat layer or the different layers of, of clothing that you can from your, your Minecraft. It's all flattened down. As you can see, my 3D glasses are just part of my face. Uh, very cool though. Uh, one thing I do notice is uh, he is hollow, so he's a little bit he's a little bit top heavy and whoop yep he falls over quite easily. Uh, so I suppose maybe maybe the the mine toys guys would benefit from from being on kind of a flat base like this Kerbo guy is. Um, I suppose if you're if you are dinner bone, you could just go like that and you, your your stability problems are solved. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, otherwise very cool. I saw a picture uh, of of some people who printed out their Minecraft figures and then put them on their wedding cake topper. Uh, a couple did that, so, you know, obviously these aren't toys, they're a little bit fragile, they're sturdy enough. Uh, once the sandstone sets after being 3D printed, they're uh, sprayed with a coating that then solidifies, kind of cements them in place. So they are pretty, uh, <laughs> as it breaks, uh, they are pretty sturdy. It didn't break, it, it's fine. Pretty sturdy, but not toys. They're basically, you know, put them on your desk and, and kind of enjoy your, your new friends. Uh, obviously, like I said, Shapeways also has a bunch of different printing techniques and other stores. People selling jewelry that's 3D printed uh, in sterling silver and, and uh, brass and, and all these other... I, did, I had no idea that you could get 3D prints done uh, with this. Obviously, I think what they do is they print the mold and then within the mold uh, they, they cast the, the brass or silver or steel or whatever, which is kind of cool and something I wouldn't have thought of, but... Uh, for our nerdy video game uh, needs, these these sandstone printed sculptures of our favorite in-game characters are are indeed uh, all, all we need to worry about. But uh, but yeah, I wanted to once again thanks uh, Shapeways.com to for uh, giving us the the credit to hand out for the grand prize for the the F3 guess the F3 uh, contest. That was uh, very kind of them and uh, very kind of them to send along these figures for me to check out. Uh, this one I treated myself to. Uh, these are, I believe, $19. $19.99 for the 6 inch and a little bit more for the 12 inch Minecraft figures. Uh, perhaps a gift for a, a brother or nephew or, or, or son or daughter of their favorite or their own personal Minecraft skin would be a cool little uh, little token to have. Or if you can get creative enough and, and put it on, <laughs> convince convince your your wife or husband to put it on the top of your wedding cake, <laughs> to to say to all of your family, we are gigantic Minecraft nerds and we are joined as one. That's another option as well. But uh, but yeah. All the links, like I said, in the video description, shapeways.com. I do appreciate you guys following along, and uh, I hope to bring you some uh, awesome stuff like this in the future for Farlands Bust and Farlanders and everybody who follows the channel. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. Focus. Focus. Oh, I don't have that close of focus. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm.